All right, we're up against a Diamond 2 Camille. She's not running Teleport. Ignite Flash is interesting. You know, I think Flash actually... I think that is the way to go for Surgot, because then she can react to my E Flash. I've actually noticed, I feel like whenever I get a lead versus a Camille that doesn't go Flash, the lane is really easy. But if they go Flash, it's it's hard. it makes it harder to snowball if she can react to my E Flash. Our late game's not looking the best for this, but they are four melee champs versus an Urgot, so that's good. We could honestly do a Gore Drinker game for fun, since they're going to remove that item pretty soon. This is a good uh, good lobby for it. But yeah, they're removing Gore Drinker next season. The only item that's going to give Omnivamp next season is Riftmaker. They're removing Gore Drinker, and they're removing Omnivamp from Dorn's Blood. It's going to be Lifesteal. For some reason, right... I guess they don't want Omnivamp in the game besides Riftmaker. They just want it to be like a unique thing. Gonna miss Gorgrinker. Yeah, Gorgrinker is cool. I haven't really built it too much on Urgot recently, but... I think it's a cool item. Oh, she's running that new Winter Bless skin. That looks pretty cool. Nice. We traded her under shield pretty good there. First blood. Wow, our mid Lucian is ganking bot lane already. There could be a gank incoming topside pretty soon. Let's get some vision down and kind of play away from the river. Going to try to crash the wave in. She's probably going to try to hold it. Yeah, she's pulling it to the side. If I see Briar, then I can go for the wave push. Yeah, there she is. So she's on the top grab right now. I think it's good just to reset here. Yeah, this will be good. Her Camille's wave clear is pretty bad. We can do longsword. Actually, we can't do longsword call. All right, screw it. I'm going to go double longsword. I think rushing cleaver is honestly not bad in this match. But mainly just double longsword, I think, is better than just like call refillable. Especially in these pretty tense matchups. I kind of need the trading power. So Briar is going to go bot side here now, most likely. Because top wave is pushing into me, and she just recalled. So I'll try to let my bot lane now. And we're pretty safe to trade now. The 
Oh, good hold by him there. I'm gonna go for a kill on my next E here. Or just wait for Jarvin. Nice. I just held my E there for her ulti. Because if I E early, then she dodges it. Like, she uses her ulti to dodge my E. I can't believe she was level 6 already. I mean, I guess I have a pretty big wave here. Really clean lane so far, though. Especially with her going Dorn Shield. It makes it really hard to get an early kill. Alright, sadly she's going to freeze this wave. But I, I really think this is the best time to back. Ah oh, man, she has Flash. Alright, greedy recall spot by me. I should just run back to my tower. There's her flash. I get a really good buy at least. We spent all of our gold. Is this mid lane fight going to be good? Aw, oh, man. It's a really bad sign if we're losing early game with our team comp. Tabbies are extreme value this game, too. Oh, I lost one or two creeps from her freeze earlier. Thankfully, I didn't lose too much right there on that death. I didn't lose too much XP. Dang, that shield is nasty, man. If she E's in on me, we can kill her. Or at least if Jarvan ganks. Maybe I can solo kill at this point with Ignite, too. She's kind of tanky with her build, though. If I had mana, dude, that maybe is a kill. Yeah, that's the problem with this matchup. There's nothing I can really do about that, because in that situation, I have to E, or else I'm going to lose. It's nice if I can hold my E, but I don't have the op I don't have the luxury of holding my E there. He should have got the plating. Dang, he just let that go to waste? That's crazy. Alright, this is kind of tough. We actually played this pretty good. Like, this is one of those lanes where I, I think we played it pretty good. But we're actually in a pretty bad spot now. The Ocean Drake plus D-Shield just makes it really hard for me to punish. We'll see, though. Maybe I can kill her here. Okay, nice. Wow. Pretty greedy E by her, to be honest. And we just sidestepped it. Oh, she has Leona, too.
Well, I got some CS so I can get enough for Cleaver at least. That's the best thing to do there. I can't outplay a TV1. Especially with how fed the Briar is already. Mm, I think tabbies are still better. I see your point though, Diamond. But tabbies are just so good into like all three of these champs. I'm pretty sure tabbies still work against Camille's Q, like her true damage. I could be wrong about that, but I think they work against her Q. I think it's still calculated in. I remember there's something weird about that. Like it might not work versus the true damage. But it like works versus the other physical damage from Mercio. There's something weird with that that I can't really remember. But either way, I think they're still good versus Camille. She still does a lot of auto attacks even besides her Q. for a fruit here. I hope I don't lose the plating. I don't think I will. I'll settle for a crab. If I had a coal, I'd actually get pretty good healing on this thing. If I can land an E on Camille right now, we can do so much. The Cleaver Spike is so nasty in the Camille matchup. But yeah, I think I'll get ganked if I play aggressively right now. She used her E, so that was a really good time to punish. For this guy being a Camille one trick, he's pretty greedy with his E. He's probably not used to people punishing that. I should be able to win this. Oh man, so close. Camille's gonna be back soon. Oh, nice, they killed her. She was trying to get her red buff. All right, cool, I got I got an assist on that and a ton of plating gold. I should go Sterex before Gore though. Sterex is just too good here. One thing I was gonna say about Merc Treads is like, it's pretty rare that you go Merc Treads on Urgot. Because if you take Legend Tenacity, and then also once your Sterak Shield pops, you get 30% Tenacity. So like between those two things, you're you're kind of covered. You don't really want to overstack on Tenacity unless they just have like insane amounts of CC. They do have a decent chunk of CC this game though, to be fair. Also, another thing with Thurgot, though, is you can e-buff her through a lot of CC. Which, I know you know that, but if there's any, like, new Urgots. So, it makes Tenacity a little bit less important. I think we should just grab Rift Herald here. I don't see enough on the map to try to force something. Yeah, Briar is top. I think Leona's also roaming. So it's good to just get out of there. 
Yeah, Leona's here before our support. Dang, man. Oh my god, that Renata W just saved the game. That fight goes so bad if I don't get the grinder there. I love how your grinder doesn't get cancelled if you get the Renata W on you. That seems like an interaction that would be kind of like buggy with Urgot. I think I'll sell my D-Blade here. Sterex is so good. Never saw that interaction. Really cool. Yeah, it's a really cool one. It's pretty rare that happens. I feel like she just ease away. If Jarvan gets the knockout, though. Okay, nice. I think we got her. Good follow through. Jarvin kind of needs some plays to work out because he's kind of falling behind an XP. Wow, I baited that guy. I might try to go for an E flash here. Leona's mid. And I really want that tower. If we kill him, I... Actually, we probably don't get tower. Camille's going to be back. Okay, nice. We get a flash. I'll take that. Let's not die to Camille here. Okay, she just respawned. I was ready for this. Nice. Let's go, dude. The 1v2. I flashed a dodge Z, but also for extra shotgun damage. That's so good, man. Can I grab the tower? Ah, oh, Briar's up here. I want this tower so bad. It's too risky, though. I could maybe kill her there with my level lead. But it's a big shutdown. It's a big risk. We'll just take the big victory. That 1v2 did so much on the map, too. My team is just, like, pushing every wave, getting some tower damage. If you can get a 1v2 on top lane right now, like, it's so good for the map. I'm down to fight here. My Sterak shield is back up. Oh, I should have waited for Leona to E, though. Gonna give up a bit top lane here, but I think it's worth it if we can win the Drake fight. I wonder if they got this warded. Hopefully we get something here, because I'm giving up kind of a lot top lane. Try to save our Lucian here if I can. Oh, dang. This Lucian is strong, man. 
All right, I should just go deal with Camille here. Don't think I ever see you buy control wards. I buy them pretty rarely. The thing with Urgot is you he, he's a champion that like really needs item spikes. So buying control wards kind of slows you down. Also, sometimes you have like too much inventory on Urgot because you have like coal and refillable potion. I feel like a lot of the time I don't have room for it. But yeah, I buy them sometimes, but yeah, not not very often. Only when there's like nothing else to buy and I'm like already at my item spike. Wow, okay. Their whole team is up here. Dude, I could have killed if I get that fear. Man, if only Grinder Pole is a little faster. Wait a minute, they're trying to sneak Baron? There's no way. This is not legal. She dies in like three Zaya Adas. Ooh, she's flashing onto Baron now. Have you seen people recently going tank Varus? I have seen that, yeah. It's a very annoying build to play against. Varus in solo lane with like the Radiant build is so OP right now. I think I've seen it like four to five games and I haven't seen it do bad a single time. Oh, my mouse is bugging. Sometimes the laser sensor gets messed up. That's been happening more often lately. Shut down, Shut down for Yasuo. He hit his he hit his 10 death power spike. I want to try to team fight with this build because we got so much AoE damage. Between the shock ends and the gore drinker. He's probably going to dash to the minion wave. I don't know if I can really do anything about this. I have to wait out the wind wall. Good try, Yasuo. I need this guy to get top here. I'm just gonna hard push bot. I'm level 16 right now, halfway to 17. Time for a new mouse? Yeah, probably. I've been looking at. Is it mices or mouses? I guess mices. I've been looking at some new mouses. But I just can't decide on what I want to get. This should be good. Oh my god. Dude, this Renata is so good. Oh, that's on me. Also, Clutch Gore Drinker heal in that fight. Nice, we can one combo. Okay, that was sick. We didn't really do much with Gore Drinker, but we did get one really nice fight with it. That was enough to be satisfying before they remove this item. Nice, that was a good game.
It's a good lane phase, too. Gotta give that one to Renata, man. So good. Yeah, this account's an Emerald, but our MMR is pretty high. That Camille is Diamond, too. Oh, she just got put to D3 off that game. So this is pretty much the same as my main account in terms of ELO. Dang, almost 30k damage. Very nice. 